Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I don't know if you heard about uh, the sort of like a new character uh, called Black Panther, right? And um, I want you guys to check this out, and I want you to tell me. I I'm going to say something after this, but it's only about uh, 1 minute, 52 seconds long, so I want you guys to check out the video if you haven't seen it yet. Okay. Tell me something. What do you know about Wakanda? It's a third world country. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits, all the front. Explorers have searched for it. Called it El Dorado. They looked for it in South America. But it was in Africa the whole time. I'm the only one who's seen it and made it out alive. say akata okay another thing another thing a lot of directors producers writers everybody that's in film in the united states anybody that knows anything about filmmaking you know especially the 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 technical part of it not technical but the financial part of it if you're going to people that back a film and finance it they want certain people to be in a movie, not because of the American audience. It's because of the Asian audience. I don't know if you know this. And there's a lot of people that are very ignorant and think, well, I think people in Hollywood are racist and they're not putting enough black people in movies. It's not the United States that has an issue seeing somebody like Denzel Washington or somebody like Samuel L. Jackson or Eddie Murphy or, you know, on the screen. It's, it's when it carries over across the ocean. They want to basically make money off of a film. And when it goes to China, Japan, India, especially India, other places in Asia, basically the Asian people, the Asian people don't see this as good. It doesn't matter how much money was spent on production, how good the costume was, how good the writing and the storyline is. It doesn't matter. If there are people that are have dark skin in the video, they could be from India and have dark skin and be in that movie, this movie, and they still will not accept it. They will not accept it because of the skin color of the people in the movie. Look at Bollywood and you have to under, why don't you just go and search about, you know, film in the United States. It's not that they don't want to put certain people in the movie. It's this, that when it carries over across an ocean, they don't want to see it because, because Denzel Washington is leading it because, you know, Will Smith is in the movie. They know it's not going to do well there. It may do well in the UK and Australia, South America, of course, the United States, but not in Asia where they have, you know, a billion people or more. They have more, but still they have a bill over a billion viewers. Okay. 
Now we got that clear. I hope that this is a good movie. I hope that this is going to be a good Marvel character. But when I said after the film, when I said Akata, that's a, that's a word used by West Africans to label an African American. It's not a, it's not a very good word. It's a very, very bad word. Um, I myself wouldn't mind being called an Akata. Akata means wild cat untamed and that's how they view Americans as being even though I mean they're eating ass over there and chopping off hands and you know searching for albino children as medicine like Tylenol but I would be labeled an Akata like I said I, I don't mind that actually I'm wanting to change my YouTube channel to the cotton picking Akata infidel but I didn't because I didn't think that it would be acceptable but I'm thinking twice about it. But anyway, um, that, that's the whole meaning behind that word. There's a whole, there's a meaning behind the word. Uh, some people don't realize they just think uh, it's a kata, you know, a kata, a kata. No, the, the, the way it came about that word was during the, the mid sixties or late sixties, early seventies, at the time the black Panthers were at its peak and they were in universities and colleges and things like that. Uh, a lot of Africans were immigrating to the United States. Okay. Um, by that time they had, you know, segregation had already happened by that time. But when Africans were immigrating to the United States, they were also attending universities and black Panthers were at those universities and they were trying to get them to join the cause basically. And the African students looked at, looked at them and their symbol and everything and basically called them wild cats and gave them the name Akata. They were looked at as troublemakers, you know, these same quote unquote Akata were looked at as troublemakers when they were fighting for the right to just to sit in a shoe store to try on a pair of shoes because they, they weren't able to do that either. But, those same Africans uh, got the right to be able to go to those, you know, majority white universities because of that Akata. But anything uh, I wanted to say here, if anything I wanted to say here was that this movie, I hope is going to be good. But not only that, not about the movie, this character, I want this character to be a legend. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I'd like to see this character in you know, like I love Spider-Man since I was a kid, Superman, I mean, you, you name it, the Hulk, all those characters I loved as a kid and as an adult. I want to see, I want to see this Panther become a legend, you know, where, you know, grandkids will be watching this. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there. It's not, a, I'm surprised actually that, that they created a movie like this. I think this is um, awesome. The only thing that um, I think is a problem is that sometimes we think that it's the United States that's the problem when, when a movie comes out. Well, they're not casting certain people in a movie. They do that simply because it's, 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 what, it's the money. Because if money wasn't the issue, that, that wouldn't be the issue. You know what I'm saying? If money wasn't the bottom line, I think we would see more diversity in movies and TV. But because that carries over to Asia and they want to recoup a lot of that money in an Asian audience in theaters over there. See, if this is at the theater in, in India, guess what? They wouldn't give fuck all about it. They probably wouldn't even want that in their theaters. They have a lot of boring Bollywood and I don't, I personally don't like anything Bollywood. The only thing I like about Indian movies is if they have a, a protagonist that's a female and she's a fighter, then I'd probably want to date her. But any other than that, I couldn't give a fuck all about Bollywood. And um, that includes Japan and China and all these other places. They And the only thing that China would do with this movie is burn it and try to sell it on the black market. Um, but that's all I got to say. Um, now you know how I feel about this. <laughs> Not much. Uh, I just hope it's a good movie. And that's all I really want is a good goddamn movie. Alrighty. Bye-bye.